We're going to start this puppy up. Clear? Prop? And welcome back to Tip of the Week. This week we're out in the southern Arizona desert waiting desperately for back home to thaw out so that we can get back to building. In the meantime, our tip this week consists of an example of installing a cowling onto a kit aircraft. Most of the cowlings that come with kit aircraft are not cut out, they're not fitted, and this presents a bit of a daunting challenge for you to install it properly. So watching an example, now this may not be exactly your aircraft, but that's not the point, you will pick up some tips and techniques of what it takes to install a fiberglass cowling onto a brand new aircraft that you're building. We need to thank Mark Phillips, the installer extraordinaire for describing and explaining this process very nicely as we're about to see. We're ready to fit the cowling. Uh, the most important factor in fitting the cowling is to making sure that everything lines up primarily with the spinner on the, air, on the uh, airplane. Uh, you want a nice fit all the way around the spinner so that uh, you've got a good smooth airflow over here. You want to shoot for a, at least a quarter of an inch or so clearance between the cowling and the spinner in the final assembly. A little tighter if you uh, want to work with it more than that. But uh, there is relative motion between the uh, spinner, propeller, assembly, and the cowling. So a little clearance there is a good idea. And what we do just to hold this in place, we'll insert a couple of the propeller flange bushings through the, uh, crank through the uh, extension and into the spinner uh, back plate here. And then put a couple tie wraps in to hold it in place. And that'll give us our reference to mount the cowling and fit it up. Okay. Once you've got your back plate, your, your spinner back plate in position, we're going to fit the upper cowling. Now the cowling is intentionally, this isn't cut out in the very front behind the spinner, and the rear, the trailing edge of it and this edge are actually longer than they'll eventually be. Once we get it fitted, we'll trim this ed these edges to fit the lower cowling once it's in position. You pretty much just lay it on top of the fuselage behind the spinner and center it in the approximate position where it needs to go. And you could mark a uh, measure up from each end to establish the exact center of the cowling on the top and, and align that with this row of rivets on the top of the airplane. Next you will start trimming away at this front bulkhead so that it rests down onto the crankshaft extension until you get a nice alignment between this and the spinner back, uh, back plate. Bearing in mind that the spinner itself is about an eighth of an inch thick. So once you put the spinner onto the back plate, you trim this down until you get a nice fit, a nice alignment between here and the spinner itself. Uh, bear in mind that the engine mounts over time are going to uh, compress a little bit. So it's a good idea to make your initial fitting with the spinner slightly higher than the top of the cowling and over generally it, it varies from airplane to airplane but the spinner will be a little bit lower over time and if you want a really perfect fit there consider that. Alright, uh, what we want to do first of all is make sure that we, as we fit the uh, cowling that we put it back in the same position every time. So I want to establish a center line mark at the top of the cowling to make sure that as we put the cowling off, remove it, we'll be get back in the same place every time. Now what we've done is the cowling on that side and this side, the lower edge, is at the same position on both sides of the airplane. And we reference the rivets that are already installed in the airplane to do that. So I want to take a piece of tape here and mark a line on the fuselage and on the top of the cowling so I can always reference back exactly to the same position when I reinstall the cowling for additional subsequent fittings. Now I know exactly where the center of the cowling goes.
And what I'll do first of all is I'll make a rough measurement of how high, how much of this material I need to cut off. I know I need to lower this. I could use a ruler to do this too, but this is kind of handy. I know I'm going to go about this much material just to be safe for the first cut. So we'll, we'll remove this much material from the bottom edge of the bulkhead and then we'll see how it fits after that. And it would have been handy to you know, make that mark a little before you cut that off. Hmm. Just. At the same time, we're looking to make sure we're going to move it over to where, where it's centered as well. So I'm going to take a little material off in this area right here to get a better fit. Now you're talking probably from about there to yep. about there, right? Yep. You got your sharpie? Let's take that off right there. Huh. Okay. It's got to go that way just a little bit. Establish the, the edge, the rear edge of the cowling so we get a good fit at the edge of the skin here. I'm going to put a piece of tape right at, right at the edge of the skin line. like so that we can draw on. Now if you take a simple compass like that and I'm going to draw a line about an inch or so, maybe three quarters of an inch beyond the skin and I'll use the compass as a guide to make that line. Now I know exactly this distance from the edge of the skin to the line and I'll do this all the way around the, most, the entire top half of the cowling. Let me put the cowling back into position. Establish the gap that we want to achieve here in the front between the spinner back plate and the front of the cowling. Make sure we've got it centered on the top. Then I want to follow the same line carefully all the way down to the bottom edge of the cowling. Now I'm going to use this as a reference. I'm not going to go ahead and trim this all the way up to the, the line that I've just drawn. I'll remove it within say an eighth of an inch or so and then check the fit. And what this does is, is if there's any discrepancies in the line going fore and aft you can achieve a really nice fit here watching your clearance at the front and get that trimmed exactly where you need it. Once you've got that rear edge of the cowling trimmed off, you go ahead and establish the locations for whatever your fasteners are that you're going to use. In this case we use quarter turn fasteners and you'll drill your hole in the, in the fiberglass to match these fasteners. We've already got attached to the flange that mounts the, fire, the uh, cowling and attach this into position where it's going to eventually go. To do the lower cowling, once we've got the upper cowling uh, in position, we've already established the location for the fasteners along the trailing edge of the cowling, it's time to get on with this one. Now, this comes with the same bulkhead completely molded across the front of this. And we're going to need to remove this in order to clear the crankshaft in order to fit this up to the, match the upper cowling. Okay. Remove as necessary. Yeah, it looks about right. Ready? To remove this. Yeah, it seems like. It. Establish the, the general fit for the lower cowling. It's a matter of getting everything into position, 
You'll notice back here, we're, again, we're going to have to trim back to the edge of the skin line in this position, same as, the, as we did on the upper half. And once we've got this where it fits the lower cowling, where it fits up against the mounting flanges against the firewall, then we know exactly the height of this trim line where the overlap is, this little offset. And then we can fine tune this bottom edge of, of the original ca the, uh, cowling, which this was already been cut, but it would be down below this. And we can again measure up the right amount of offset and then trim that to fit here. It's just a matter of putting it into position, making a few measurements, trimming it, refitting it until you've got a good solid fit all the way around. And there we have it. Now at least we understand what we're up against when it comes time for us to install our fiberglass cowling. It's a little bit of art, a little bit of technique, and sometimes it helps to get a friend who knows what they're doing. So in the meantime, everybody, back to building. I'm headed back on home. I think I'll go via Sun and Fun in Florida and then call that it for the winter and get back to building. See you there at Sun and Fun. Say hello.